Good morning, friends. I'm, I'm glad to be with you today in prayer. Today, as we pray, I'm going to offer a prayer about faith. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we acknowledge to you today that we are anxious about much in the world. We need help many days, maybe even today, to be able to catch our breath and realize that it will be all right. That requires faith. Sometimes we have all the faith that we need, but sometimes we need more. We know that through faith we can accomplish anything, and we know also that as a result we need to apply our faith to make the changes that are necessary in the world. Friends, as we pray today, I invite you to think about your faith and what your faith demands of you. Lord, as we continue in prayer, we know that you are with us. We know that you care for us and that you hear our prayers. Hear our prayers this day as we seek to find peace and a settling of the anxiety that we feel. Let us set our anxiety aside amid the chaos and feel the peace that comes from our relationship with you. Strengthen our faith. Focus our faith. Share our faith. Help us to realize that through our faith, great things are possible. Amen. Friends, our reading for today comes from the book of Isaiah, from the 58th chapter. It's part of the lectionary text for this week as we approach Ash Wednesday. Starting at the 8th verse. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you, the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer, and you shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove the yoke from among you, the pointing of the finger, the speaking of evil, if you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness, and your gloom be like the noonday. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your needs in parched places and make your bones strong and you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters never fail. Your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt and you shall rise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to live in. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day and live in faith. Amen.